Good morning guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to another beautiful day, another beautiful video. Today um, I've started off my day for going for a little jog. I'm not sure how far I'm going to get mind. Honestly, like I, I've not jogged in so long. Um, I bought some new running trousers yesterday, so I'm like, I've got to start. I've got to start making a move. I've got to start becoming healthier. I've got to start finding myself and being happy with myself. So that's what I thought I'd start today off with a nice little jog. Um, I think it's about two miles, four miles there and back. So it's not too bad. I'm probably only going to achieve one mile. I'll probably walk like the whole entire time. But I'm going to try and run it. <laughs> And you've got this great sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fire on a camera just looks so good. Look at that. All the way up. Don't fuck about. Good girl. Wow, I look terrible. Let's take the hat off. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to a brand new video. Wow, this big thing on the side of my face just does not look appetizing, right? Guys, today is moving day. Whew, I am so nervous. T last night was the last night in my family home ever. Like, this is the last time I've ever stepped foot in my family home. The home I got brought up, the home that I learnt how to walk and talk in is no more. It is no more. It's a new chapter of my life. I'm, I'm, be really upset to be honest with you. I am I'm I'm alone here right now because they've gone to get the moving van and all that kind of stuff. So I'm alone here right now. And honestly, I feel really upset. Like this is the last time I'll ever be in this house alone. The last day that I'll be ever spending well the last couple of hours. We've got to be out here by five o'clock. So it's the last couple of hours that I'll ever have in this home. Upsetting time. Should we go for a little tour? Let's go for a little tour. I thought, let me show you this door. This door, we have been vandalizing this door and painting and everything this door for so many years. Um, and because it was my brother's room, he has like graffitied the whole entire back of it. And we want to take this with us. We're actually really sad to leave this behind because it has so many years of just memories, just stupid random memories. Like we have a dog, like RP, but ignore that, guys. Um, <laughs> You know, where does it say we have, uh, you know, Mama Jags, there's so much on you. All my all my brother's old mates. Um, Dan written here once. Where did he write it to? Down here. 2020. There we go. 2020, what it F and year. Um, Rona 19, okay, with the COVID. Then, haha, <laughs> two weeks later, Kate's got it. So yeah, this this door, we're actually, like all of us, everyone is quite sad to leave this good door go. It, it's been a good door, it, it's been a good memory of the door. Oh, like Bobby, R.I.P. Bobby Brown, 2019, that's our old dog. <laughs> Dan and Katie forever. Uh, Dan was, Dan was here somewhere, 2014. Uh, 2018, 2018. Uh, 2009. Now this is one room that I have so many memories in. I'm joking, I can never remember the memories in this room because normally I'm like laid over that toilet dying from a night out. <laughs> the amount of times I've sat in that toilet and thought, oh my god, I'm going to die by alcohol poisoning. What have I done? Why do I do this to myself? So many times. This toilet has been a good toilet. This bath has been a good bath. This sink has been a good sink. This room, now I have memories just watching my dog giving perfume. Oh my god. I wonder if we have kept... No, they're not there. We did write all the puppies' names once on this wall, but they've been painted over by the looks of it. But honestly, I've watched so many dogs give birth right there to puppies. Crazy, crazy. So this is a funny little memory as well, guys. So right here it says Sam's here, or Sam's heart. Um, and as you can see, it's shaped like a heart. This picture is there. I might need to try and get that, I don't know, but... Yeah, anyway, when it's above there, stuff can fall down. 
And something fell down here one time off my brother's mate Sam and we tried our best to get it from the top and we had to get it from inside so we had to cut out and by the time we cut it out we realised that it looks like a heart and obviously we wanted to make it a memory so we was like Sam's heart. So yeah, that's just, just something fun. The reason why I'm showing you guys these things is in a few years time I can look back at this and be like I miss that house <laughs> or oh, look at that memory look at that memory like there's so many different like things around this house that mean a lot so if I say something and it might seem strange it's just because I want to keep this as a memory no 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 this is gonna be your last time you ever in this room I don't think you understand do you it's gonna be your last time here you gonna say bye to the house and say bye <coughs> love you Lel, Lel, love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, wow, I just got a disown, guys. Normally she said, I love you too, but yeah, okay, we just got this on. Let's holy land in. This was my first ever room in this house. This beautiful room right here. This is my first ever room in this house. Do you want to know a funny fact? When I was about five years old, five to seven years old, I had my bed right here. And in my bed right here, one night I woke up and there was two men standing right there. And for years, for years and for years, till to this day, I believe that there were two men standing by there. Now I think of it, and as an adult I think of it, it was probably sleep paralysis, or I was probably having a really bad dream. But the, but that time, and forever, it's haunted me, I swear. But this room has been a good room. Then we moved into this room. We've moved in and out of this room about a hundred times as well. But then we moved into this room. It's hell of a mess right now. There's just stuff everywhere. I need to go finish packing, guys. I'm not meant to be recording. I told my mum I'm gonna pack, but I think you all deserve a quick tour before I actually pack. <clears throat> then we come into the front room. This one's, this one's always just been a front room. This one's always just been a chill room, but this that right now is like a storeroom. Uh, the joys, hey, the joys. Then we come in, then we come into this room. This room is just, this one was just a room. Holy kitchen, guys, in here. I wonder if it's still here. Oh, no, it's been painted over. That's still here. That's probably been there since probably 2002. Guys, when we were kids, we had our heights checked in here. We'd have our heights checked daily and well, weekly in there. But it's gone. It's been painted over. Sad times. Oh, guys, <laughs> there's so much stuff. Imagine living somewhere for like 21 years. I'm guessing it's about 21 years we've been here. But imagine living somewhere for 21 years and then you have about five hours or about six, seven hours to clear the place. I hope my family's prepared for me to be homesick for the first like week. I'm so bad at staying away from home. And like, this is my home. I know home is where your heart is, but this is my home. Um, and we're being, we're basically being made out, made to move out by some awesome neighbours next door. Once I move, I'll explain the true story. I'll explain the real reason why we moved. Wow, my eyes look good! What's going on? What's going on? Lel? Lel, what's going on, baby? She's so confused. <laughs> She's, guys, the last week she's been so confused. She's literally been like sitting at the top of the stairs. And like normally she's in my room, uh, mine and Dan's room. And normally she'll come in and like go to sleep on her bed and chill out with us and you know, stuff like that. But like in the day she won't be glued to us. She'll just go off and do her own thing. And then like in the night, that's when she'll come to us. But the past like couple of days, since everything has just been moving about, she don't know where to sit. She don't know where to lay down. She's been sleeping at the top of the stairs because she wants to sleep in our room. Um, but throughout the day, like every day, like right now, she is just stuck to our sides. And I feel so bad for her. She's old, guys. She's like 13 years, age, years, of, years of age. And that's old for a dog, okay? Definitely her breed. She's so stuck to me. I'm, okay, I'm following you. Come on, keep going. Oh, right. Ooh, treat. <laughs> no, they're for later. Come on. They're for later. Keep going. 
Keep going. Oh, fine, I'll go in front. Okay, just as an update that I can no longer sit around and just do whatever I want. I've just had finished my Rustler burger, uh, just chilled for five minutes, and I've just had a message saying that they're on the way with the van. So I can no longer chill. This is where everything starts. This is where the move starts. We need to take out the window and get everything in this room into the back of the van. I hope it's a big van. I hope to God it's a big van. Oh God, this is gonna take some time, Lels. Lel. You look stressed, girl. You look stressed. It's confusing, isn't it? She's my girl. Since I was seven years old, walking around his house like a little mouse. Was a hell of a little mouse seven years ago. Well, when I was seven. Jesus, I was a hyperactive little child at seven. I feel sick with anxiety. Like, I think that's when you know when you're anxious more than anything is when you start to feel sick and I, I'm starting to feel sick. The, the joys about anxiety, guys. Sometimes your anxiety can just work. Okay, yeah, that's a very big van. Right, everything else will have to go on top now. Oh, I don't know, Paul. I might, I'd leave a sofa till second, mesh, second load. One room empty. No window. Hmm? Oh my God! What the hell's going on? Hi guys. I haven't picked up this camera since yesterday morning. I think the last time I picked this up is about one o'clock. It is now the next day. We haven't stopped. We have not stopped at all. Like we are exhausted. Everyone in this house right now is exhausted. I haven't had time to pick the camera up. I wish I could. Honestly, I really wish I could have vlogged everything because there were so many things I wish I caught on camera. But I just, we haven't had time. Literally, we have not had time. We had a day, we had less than a day. We had about nine hours to get all of our stuff out of that house, into the van, unload, go to the next place, unload, fill back up and yeah. We had ended up doing, I think three, I think, yeah, I think three full runs and we ended up having to leave a couple of stuff there that we do have to go back for. We've arranged to go back for that um, in a couple of days, but what, what, what the hell happened? That's what I'm gonna say. We've literally moved house in eight hours. Exhausted. Do you wanna see my new room? Do you guys wanna see where the next couple of hundred videos are going to be filmed? Be warned, it is not decorated, it is not organized. It is literally, I have literally put everything into a place just so that I can feel at home. We need to decorate, we need to do a lot of stuff, a lot. So yeah, here, here we go, here's a room tour. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't really say a room tour, but uh, here's my current living situation. 